Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovery science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids! about scuba diving. In scuba diving, divers can stay underwater for a long time as they wear special equipment. This kind of diving got its name from the equipment name that is called SCUBA. It's an acronym for Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. Getting started in scuba diving is like taking a series of small steps. First you become a strong swimmer. After you've mastered that, you learn how to use the scuba equipment in a swimming pool. Now, after you get the hang of that step, you move on to a larger body of water, such as a pond, a lake, or even an ocean. The first scuba systems used a heavy diving helmet with windows. Divers would walk on the seafloor instead of swimming. The regulator would send air to the helmet by hand control. Jacques Cousteau was a very famous Frenchman who developed several important parts of the scuba system and made it useful. One part was a better regulator that only sent air when the diver breathed in. This let the divers go farther on one tank. It was light enough to use with fins and easily swim. He also took many underwater movies and shadowed people what was under the water and why it needed to be protected. The scuba equipment pieces include fins, a mask, a tank, which is a large metal cylinder made of steel or aluminum, gauges, and a watch. The tank has breathing gas, oxygen under pressure of all suitable for deep ocean, that helps divers inhale and exhale naturally. Without excessive effort, no matter how deep they are, watch compass depth and pressure gauges provide scuba divers with important information about their location and their physical condition. Sometimes scuba divers use belts with weights and a piece of equipment called a buoyancy control device, BCD, to control whether they rise, float steadily, or sink in the water. Scuba diving is mostly done for recreation purposes. Divers admire the marine life that is deep within the ocean-wide variety of fishes, ocean plants, coral reefs, and sometimes even shipwrecks. For recreational purpose, the divers can only go up to 130 feet deep. Only trained professionals are allowed to go beyond that by law. Scientists make use of scuba diving to explore and gather information about the ocean and its marine life. The treasure hunters use it to find hidden treasures in the oceans. Scuba skills also help in projects such as ocean oil, drilling, and bridge construction. Divers cannot talk underwater. That's why scuba divers are universally recognized group of signals to communicate. It sounds exciting and dangerous, but scuba diving is considered to be pretty safe. A person must take a certification class before going scuba diving. This proves that they may have been trained on how to use equipment and dive safely. The biggest organization for certifying divers is PADI, Professional Association of Diving Instructors. But there are many others, depending on the country. You must be 15 years or older. NUBA is the perfect cross between snorkeling and scuba diving while breathing through a simple-to-use regulator that's connected to an air supply that floats comfortably at the water's surface, SCUBA allows you to explore a three-dimensional underwater world you simply can't enjoy when snorkeling. SCUBA can be enjoyed at any depth, at the surface, 2 feet, 10 feet, or even 20 feet, without any certification or heavy, cumbersome air tanks. A highly trained and certified SCUBA guide will even be with you throughout your entire tour. Visit www.scuba.com forward slash to learn more. Now here are some photos of someone scuba diving. Thanks for watching this Adventurous Kids episode.